All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload Fall Guys meshes into Blender. So I'm gonna put this link in the description, um, but you wanna go to the Asset Studio, GitHub, scroll down to Build Passing, click on that, and click on this file. Um, I already did this, so I'm not gonna do that, but just um, click on Fall Guys, I mean, click on the install. Go to right click and extract it and when it's done with doing that just hit uh, go in here and hit asset studio GUI so double click that and you're in here uh, to get the fo uh, fall guys files to load in uh, hit file um, load folder and you need to know where you installed fall guys so um, to do that if you don't know where it is go to steam Fall Guys, right click, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and this is where it's installed. So just follow this directory and you'll get it. Um, so just do that and you'll be good. You'll set up to get the things, the models. Um, so yeah, you just want to go to the client data and then you don't want to click on anything else. Just want to let that load up. All right. So when it's done loading, uh, what you want to do is go to asset list and type in body, and do it by type. So we just have everything. So, um. I'm gonna go to mesh body and this is your main fall guy the default character so just want to right click on him do show scene hierarchy and open just do the one that's already opened so do this one and do model um, export selected objects so now just go to where you want to save it I'll save it on my desktop uh, folder uh, title video uh, guys. and just put it in there right click new folder and just name it uh, body so go in here and save it so the reason why we're making two folders uh, is because it just gets messy if you don't all these uh, images and files and all that it's just gonna get mixed up and it's gonna be hard to find the right one so it's just easier to do all that so just go into blender or anything really but this, I, I only know how to do it in blender so we're gonna do that uh, delete everything file import FBX uh, and then you want to go to where you saved it so um, desktop Fall Guys video, body, open that up, let it load into Blender, and when that's done, you'll see all these keyframes, you just want to delete them, um, you can pull that back down, and see it's really small, so just hit Alt S, make that bigger, and click on the bones, go to the bone settings, viewport display, in front, so you see all that and make it stick so just easier to see um i hit uh control tab to go into the pose mode or you can hit up here and pose mode does the same thing um hit alt r and alt g and that's just going to clear everything for you um if you did that with the keyframes it was just gonna continue playing that animation but because we deleted it it's all fine um, now it might look good in this preview, but if we go to let's say look dev, it's gonna look kind of bad. All the uh, normals are off and it's not textured. So what you want to do is go to the shader editor, click on this, and just make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Um, what we want to do is get a separate node. Separate XY and uh, RGB and get a uh, combine RGB. 
So now we have that. It's gonna look like this. Um, still bad because we're not really doing anything. Put the R to the B and the B to the R and get an invert node. And put the G to the factor and the color to G. All right, so now we have the normals all good and we just need to get to the texturing now. So to do that, we just want to get a image node so we can just hit shift D on that and color. We don't have to really plug that in there yet. Um, just hit shift A and get a mix and a um, um, separate RGB. Now we need to change the folder to the Fall Guys eyes and there you go. You want that one and if we put that in here and hit control shift click we can see what that looks like. Uh, if you can't do that you need to go to edit preferences uh, add-ons and node wrangler. You need that that's really helpful for nodes and all that type of stuff. So once you have that just put this in here and we're gonna make a few of these so we need one for just each of them, so just three. And once that's in there, uh, we need to do G. So uh, that one's fine. Well, actually that. And then G to that factor, and then B to that factor. So they're all going to look the same color because that's all the same. But if we make color to black, we can see that that's the eyes. If we make this one, let's say, just like a tan color like uh, pale that's gonna be like the face and this one is gonna be the outer color um so now once you have that um you can't see any shadows because uh, it's using mission as the viewer so you just want to delete that and make the color the base color and uh, BSDF to this and we have it but it still looks kind of weird because it's set to metallic so let's turn that all the way down Put the specular down to 0.5 and the roughness up. If you want to be like more shiny, then you can make it the roughness down, but I look it up so I'm gonna add it like that. Um, so now, just to make it easier on yourself later on in the future to edit the color, is just drag, click and drag, and hit Control G, and that's gonna make a group, and we just wanna change. Well, just put this into the group input. So all of these go in here. And then we click on this, go to node, and just change the color of the name. So just do I. And then we can make this one the skin. And then this one is just the, um, the body. So now that we have that, Either hit tab or this small button up here, this like arrow, and that's just gonna uh, collapse it so we can see all this. And we can change the eye color. Let me just make this smaller actually, and in here. Uh, so we can change the eye color. We can change the skin color, and we can change the uh, outer color. So we have all that. Um, what we want to do now is make it so. Well, that's it for this part. If you just want the fall guy, that's it. But if you want to add uh, the accessories onto it, um, you, have to, you have to do a few more steps. So uh, just move the bones out on the X, just move that out there um, and add in some more, you need to actually, uh, under the hierarchy, before we get that, um, uncheck that so if we, had that selected and we found what we wanted and selected it, it's gonna export both and it just, it's gonna get messed up. So just don't do that. Uh, type in ch, let it load, and do it by type. So now just scroll down to mesh. We have all of the meshes in the game and even unreleased ones, I think. So we have, um, the portal, uh, the scout, cactus, all that stuff. Um, but I'm just gonna use the dinosaur as the one I'm doing. So just right click, uh, export, 
actually no don't do that right click go to scene hierarchy and just go to dinosaur right here and click on that well actually no i want to click on this one um so yeah you just want to click on the one that's extended out not the body but the dinosaur and hit model merge and go back to the video or your folder and make a new one let's call it dino double click in there and hit save all right so now that that's saved all this is good what you want to do is go back to blender file import fbx go out of the body go to dino double click on that hit alt s and here we go it's there uh, we're gonna change the bones to in front and stick so that's there and we just need to change the shading again so it looks right so we need to do and when we get this uh, shaded or textured right um, we don't need to do the mix but we need to change some of the colors so it actually looks right so hit um, shift a add in a separate RGB and add in a combine RGB and we're just gonna move this out RGB to or R to B and B to R and get an invert node G and there all right so that's good we can get rid of this we don't need alpha so we just get rid of that um and then put a invert and we can just get this a separate um now we put this the color here g there and put it in the roughness all right so we have the roughness sorted out um uh if your character or the outer thing had a um metallic on it like metal we just put that in there but mine doesn't so well i mean i could put it there actually um for the eyes so i might do that later we'll just see how it looks and uh you want to change the actual color to the i just need to find the right one the mm one so we have that and we need to change some stuff so that shouldn't really be that glossy so let me see what it looks like just with the G. It's the same, basically. Um, so I'm gonna change actually to the AM one, or the NM. There, that one, the NM. Just so it looks like that. Turn the uh, metallic down so it doesn't look metallic-y, and turn it to 0.5. So there we go, there's that. And the roughness is already handled from there. Um, now we just need to fix the eye color because I don't know why, but it doesn't really take that. Uh, so you can select it on everything, but because we're just doing the eyes, uh, we're just going to do that. Uh, click on uh, the eye, hit L, and hit L on the other one, so we select both of them. Go, Make sure you're in the face, hit 3, or just click that. Right click, and do tries to quads, and that's just going to make it so we can select this rim easier uh, later. But we need these selected. Go down to material, add a new one, and assign it. So that's white. Um, now we need to make the eyes or the pupils. So just hit Alt and click on the edges, and we can do that on the other one too. Alt and click. And then if you try to do it on this, it won't work. So just hit uh, C for circle select and just do that. And do the same thing on there and hit assign on that and make this black and as you can see it's weirdly shaded so just make it a uh, roughness all the way up and that's gonna take that out and we just need to do the um, teeth now so just select that and make it white and there you go so now this is shaded correctly all we need to do now is just Combine this with this so they move uh, together. So just select that, select this, hit Alt G just to clear it, and then hit Control J. So now that's good. Um, 
these are now connected so if we move that but if we move this it they're not connected in that uh way so we need to click on that click on this and hit Control j so we have this and now if we click on this they move together if i click on this they move together so that's good uh but now if we go into pose mode um you can see if we click on let's say the arm and rotate it it's not gonna move and that's because we have a duplicate of that so now if we click on this one it's gonna move but it's just it's um annoying having to click on both so what you want to do is go into edit mode um don't select anything and hit select select pattern you need to keep your mouse on it or it's gonna go away um hit zero zero one enter and delete bones and then we're gonna do the same thing select pattern but do zero zero two and hit delete bones and it might not delete anything but just to be sure um, now if we move this oh wait and you go into uh, pose mode if we move this that moves fine that moves fine that one over there and uh, yeah so all of this all of these bones work now how they should um, and all the textures are good so if you wanted to add the pants to it or whatever you wanted there you just do the same thing you just um, combine that to the pants and that's it so, uh, so, so there's that um, I will just uh, pose this into a uh, just a pose real quick and to move it on that different axes or axes uh, just hit uh, R and then R X or Y I uh, yeah R X Y or Z and that's just gonna move it on the different things so we can move it like that that's good so now if we go into cycles you don't have to but if you want to use EV you can uh, go to cycles we need to light it and the easiest way to light it is you go back into here hit world and we're gonna use a HDRI so I'm gonna uh, in the description I'm gonna put HDRI Haven in there and that's just uh, a good way to light the scenes and do all that so just download one and we can put this one on it's going like that and just to put um uh, so you can put stuff in the background hit film transparent and that's gonna make it uh, have no background it's gonna look like that um so now if we add in a camera and hit control alt zero and move this back and hit F12 we're gonna have our uh, our thumbnail good or if you just want to make a uh, a profile picture or whatever you can do that um, but yeah so that's how you would make this you can use any models from the game just type in the CH and you can find uh, let's see the let me go back to asset list and sorry for the squeaky uh, thing um, it's not really showing yeah here so the finish thing if you want to add that in I thought I saw the ball but yeah the arrows um, so yeah all this stuff you can just add in um, but just make sure it says mesh or it's just gonna open up a uh, folder uh, so yeah here's the thing and uh, that's it so if you like the video like it if you didn't like it dislike it and uh, yeah that's it